Hi everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. In today's video, we're asking the question, do opposites attract and who should you date based on your 16 personalities type, right? I would probably say that you are more of an extrovert, so more outgoing, more initiative taking mm -hmm. in social settings and so on. Um, I'd also guess that you are more, um, I'd say, intuitive, high in openness to experience, trying new things and going to new places. Uh, I'd also guess that you are more uh, feeling, I'd guess, uh, so more likely to agree with people, more compassionate towards others. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'd lastly try to guess that you are more adaptable, more spontaneous and more flexible in your approach to things. Uh, so that will make you an ENFP personality type, the campaigner on the 16 personalities. Have you ever taken an MBTI test? Uh, yes, I did it, um, but I'm the, what is it called, Sewell. The console? So, yes. I, I, am, I, I don't know like the E, I don't know the exact letters, but the console, yeah. Right. Yes, oh. but it's cool. almost. <laughs> right. No, fair enough, fair enough. You said it's all right, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you think that's, more, you think that's yeah. quite no, true? It's interesting what you say about him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let, me, let me try and find my personality type already. Yeah. Uh, but go ahead. Uh, I'm going to guess that uh, you are more introverted, so you prefer to take things slowly and methodically and to think before you speak. Um, I'm going to guess that you're more skeptical in your approach to things, more down to earth, more practical in how you approach things. Um, I'm also going to guess that you're more thinking, so more logical in how you approach things. Um, I think you are also more judging, so more conscientious, duties first, play second. <laughs> you think that's true? Uh, I, th I would agree with everything. I'm not sure whether I'm an, in an introvert. An introvert. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Yeah. It depends on the setting. Yeah. yeah, I was starting between the two as well. I thought maybe ambivert is more accurate for mm -hmm. you because some people can be in the middle. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the reason, well, the still fine. yeah, the reason why was because you have a bit more of a thoughtful way of like, looking at people, like you're more studious. Like that made me think that uh, you might be a person that is more uh, introverted in your approach to things. Yeah. Right. Correct. Oh, interesting. Wow. In the online community, there's plenty of dating apps available which you can use and most tend to premiere a certain kind of partner or relationship, right? For example, many would advise INFPs to date the ENFJ or ENTJ or ESTJ personality type, right? So here's the question. Is this really a good or healthy basis for dating and do these dating apps really work? And what approach should you have if you study the 16 personalities when it comes to dating and love, right? And what I recommend everyone to do is simple sit down and think about what it is that you want in a partner right because here the question is what personalities do you tend to be most attracted to and why and what kind of things do you tend to find attractive in other people and what kind of things do you tend to need from other people and what are you looking to get out of a relationship right that's question number one the second and more important question everyone should be asking themselves is who am i in a relationship what do i want to provide to my partner who do I want to be in a relationship? And what kind of partner do I want to be, right? Because I think a lot of people are thinking about, you know, the checklist style, you know, like, does he meet my demands, red flags, green flags, you know, what can I get from other people? But very few people ask themselves, you know, what am I actually giving out? What am I actually providing for anyone, right? And I think if you ask yourself what it is that you're providing for people, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to know what it, and to attract people that's going to fit into that, right? So if you can be yourself and be authentic and can be yourself in relationships and towards other people, the people that like that and want that are going to seek you out, right? And they're going to be more interested in you as a result, right? So now let's get into the question of who you should date based on your 16 personalities. And to understand that, I went out and I interviewed two opposites are an extrovert, so initiative taking in social settings and uh, like being stimulated and having things to do. Uh, I'm going to guess that you are more intuitive, so high in openness to experience, going to new places, trying new things, uh, talking about intellectual topics. I'm going to say that you are more feeling oriented, so more likely to agree with people, see other people's point of view and to empathize with others. And lastly, I'm going to guess that you're more easygoing, more adaptable, uh, so more spontaneous in how you approach things. Uh, would you say that's true? Yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So that will make you an ENFP personnel type. They're called the campaigners. Uh, have you ever taken an MBTI test? No. 
No. You are more introverted, more slow and methodical in how you approach things. Uh, make sure you do things right. And uh, more likely to plan and prepare ahead. Uh, I'm going to guess that you are more skeptical in how you approach things, more practical, more down to earth in how you tend to approach things. You're more logical in how you approach things. Uh, so uh, you're more likely to um, argue if you see it's something that you think is incorrect uh, and uh, to uh, be more problem solving and more uh, yeah, methodical in how you approach those things. I guess also lastly that you're more conscientious. So first you want to take care of duties and responsibilities and then secondly you can have fun and play. <laughs> yeah, kind of, but you like there was a lot of uh, adjective there, right? So for me, actually, uh, the spec except the spectacle part, I would agree. Uh, so I am open to other opinions, or like that's what I think right. how I am. But mm -hmm. other than that, I think it was kind of correct. Yeah. Yeah. That would make you an ISTJ. They're called the builders. Uh, so they're known to be traditional. They're known to be practical. They're known to be good at organizing things, making sure that things work out uh, and are planned well. Um, so, and uh, you would be the enthusiast, lots of ideas, uh, uh, quite individualistic, march to the beat of your own drum. So you would be kind of opposites to each other, yeah. in a fun way. <laughs> yes, Very true. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, we we'll always argue, <laughs> and yeah. somehow we just got together, and then it works. That's really cool. You're both from uh, Britain. No. Well, my mom's from Turkey, dad is from England. Right. He's from t Turkey. Yeah, I'm from right. Turkey, yeah. Uh, yeah. How long have you been together? For five years. Cool. It's said that ENFPs are exceptionally strong in extroverted intuition, but one thing that I can also pick up on from ENFPs is uh, that they're extroverted and feeling types, right? Which also means that they are highly capable of being very appreciative, very warm, and very, very supportive towards their partners, right? So when you think about what it is that she's providing, I can see that she's providing enthusiasm, creativity, warmth, and affection in abundance, right? And so the question is, what do ISTJs provide in relationships, right? And ISTJs are said to use introverted sensing. And so to many extents, ISTJs are known for providing dependability, responsibility, a sense of duty, and a sense of uh, seriousness and reliance and dependability, right? But what I can also see in him is this capa capability of thinking critically about what is being said. His ability to think logically and rationally helps him and helps her be protected from <laughs> irrational tendencies and actions and plans and dreams that simply would not work. And I can also imagine when together that if they're able to work together, that they're able to build and make plans together that help them both achieve dreams in a realistic and logical fashion, helping them make plans that can support creativity and can support and create room for stability. And so this is the mix that you get when you date an opposite. I'm going to start off by thinking that you are uh, more of an introvert, uh, get energy by being by yourself, more reflective, uh, like to think before you speak. Uh, I'm also gonna guess that you are more of a thinking type. That means uh, more logical in how you approach things, more critical um, and uh, more argumentative. I'd say that you are probably a uh, judging type. So that means uh, you like to have a plan, a strategy and a goal for how you approach things uh, to make sure that they're done effectively. Um, and for the last one, I'd say that uh, you are more of, that one's tricky for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd say that you're more uh, uh, practical and down to earth in how you approach things. You're like a builder, a person that like, yeah, works uh, from what you got and improving constantly on everything you do. Would you say that's true? <laughs> I think if she says it could be me, then it could be me. <laughs> yeah. I think you're uh, at some spots, you're definitely in the right direction. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. And BJ, yeah. I was a yeah. different letters? Or yeah, that's exactly yeah. it. So he would have been uh, the ISTJ. Oh, yeah. Okay. I heard of that before. So, yeah, so yeah. builders, traditional, uh, 
yeah, that's uh, usually how they're known. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I've never been familiar to these things. No? I'm, not, I'm yeah, very interested, so too, certainly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, can I try you as well? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so I'll try for you. I'd say that you are more extroverted. You get more energy from people. You need more stimulation and they're going out and doing things. Mm -hmm. I'd say that you are more of a perceiving type, so more adaptable. Uh, you go with the flow more, you keep things open, uh, and you like to change things up uh, for, uh, from time to time. Uh, I'd say that you are more... Oh, I'm literally starting to cry for sun. Sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to say you're a uh, thinking type as well, I yeah. think. More logical in your approach as well. Uh, and uh, for the last one, I'd say that you are also more uh, practical in how you approach things, uh, more down to earth, uh, more about doing things. Uh, that would be the ESTP personality type. Could be. I don't remember mine anymore, like the specific letters, but sounds sounds good. The truth is. There is no perfect relationship and most advice on love and romance and relationships in the MBTI community is formulated by people who don't really have a holistic awareness of what love can be and how it can work because the truth is we have many different opinions about what love is supposed to be and what kind of relationship that we want depending on if we're more independent or depending on if we are growing up in a more traditional world or depending on our general culture and beliefs about romance men and women right and so i think telling people you know you should date this personal type is often a projection of your own beliefs and your own needs and your own ideas about love and the truth is we can't always generalize what other people want and what i prefer instead of saying that there is a one size fits dating formula for all the 16 personalities is how about we make some personality tests where people can assess which dating preferences that they have and what kind of things that they're currently looking for and I think most important of all, I think it's learning to use the 16 personalities to better understand your partner regardless of their personality type and to recognize and see what it is that they are able to provide and give for you and what it is that you can achieve through your relationship together, right? Because every single person you meet can provide something for you and there is no bad personality type that you should be avoiding because the truth is if you learn to understand and if you learn to truly understand, right, all relationships become so much more fulfilling and so much easier. At least that's my point of view. Who's your favorite match? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much. And of course, thank you to the people who agreed to be interviewed. It was really nice to talk to all of you.